I don't know if denial kicked in or, or what, um, but I just didn't think about it. Jill Greenberg bought her home less than two years ago. It wasn't until recently that she decided to test for radon gas. It was about a four day exposure and it came back shortly thereafter with elevated levels. Radon comes from the natural breakdown of uranium in soil. When that um, breakdown of uranium occurs, uh, radon gas is formed and radon gas can actually enter our homes or any buildings for that matter that are in direct contact with the soil. Radon gas is a serious issue. It's estimated that out of every four homes, one test is positive for elevated levels. Radon is not a, an old home or a new home issue. It's an any home issue. All homes that are in direct contact with the soil have some level of radon in it. Les Smith works with the Department of Environmental Great Lakes and Energy. He says the harmful gas is invisible, odorless, and tasteless, making it undetectable unless you test for it. This is the time of year when our homes are shut up and we spend a lot of time inside that we encourage people to test. The harmful gas is the second leading cause of lung cancer. That's why Greenberg says it's better for you to know and take action. I want to take the best steps I can to protect um, my home and the people who come visit my home. A place free of worry for you and others. Ann Lansing, Deanna Giles, News 10.